thinks of it as a little job. Come in. You back. He takes my clothes out, drops them. I have to bring it back in. He will have a poke around in either my bedroom or one of my son's bedrooms so he can pick an item, whatever's lying around. Then he will bring it down the stairs, run to the back door. Then he will wait at the back door for me to open the door if it's not already open. On a nice day, I might leave the door open. He'll just go running straight out. If the door's closed, he just stands at the door and waits for me to open the door. They always say with dogs like gold retrievers or working dogs, give them a job that they enjoy. He seems so happy. So I open the door for him and he takes the item out. He comes back to the door and just stands there like I've done my job. We got one of those nets with the magnets. Is it? Oh, it's a new net to stop the buggies coming in. And the first time Sterling saw it, he was petrified. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on, bud. He did not want to go through it. You're so close there. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, buddy. Come on, you can do it. And I'm like, oh, what's he going to do? Because obviously, that's his job, is to run outside with the clothing. We had to hold it open for him quite a few times. Yay! It took us a little while. We had to really work with him and coax him. Oh, good boy! And then after that, once he felt comfortable, he just ran through it with the clothing. Yes, good boy, you did it again. This year we got a puppy brother for Sterling, Colin. Sterling has actually kind of been teaching Colin. We could say passing the baton, his little protege. So now they both will bring items together, which is so cute.